Welcome back to another video. This one's going to be about different manufacturers. For me, I'm a bit of a gun, gun snob. Um, only when it comes to handguns, though, just because they are a little more expensive. Um, if you've seen my videos, I have, you know, numerous different long guns that are, I would say, cheaper, like the Rossi 28 single shot. That's something that I don't really care about too much just because they're so simple. However, I would not trust a Rossi revolver. Like with the revolvers, the timing could go off and with their customer service, I wouldn't really trust it. Um, and that's just my experience with dealing with their customer service. And mainly why I want to make this video is because I do like the concepts that the lower end companies, Caltech, Taurus, Rossi, Charter Arms, that type of companies, I like their concepts. And one concept would be the judge. Of course, Smith & Wesson makes the governor, which is basically the same thing as the judge. However, except in the governor, you can shoot 45 ACP as well as 45 Colt and 410. And I got this in in the mail, which is basically their catalog. And just looking through it, they've got they've got some nice firearms, but with their I really don't want to say out of the country manufacturers because I like Glocks, they're made in Austria, I like Russian guns made in Russia, but those are actually quality firearms and proven and all that. These these really aren't. Like I like the price on them. I like I even like some of the looks, but they're just not to what I would expect. Especially when you're still paying 300, 400 bucks for one of them. When I can go to a reliable company, you know, Ruger for example. Huge fan of Ruger and I even made a video about my Ruger gun specifically. I can go to one of them and get a quality firearm for either around the same price or just a little bit more. But with the extra money I'm paying, I'm knowing I will be getting good customer service if I ever need it. I guess it's like paying extra for insurance, and that's really what it is. Because I don't really trust Taurus. I said I would never buy one even though technically I have one which is the Rossi but that's a whole other thing another firearm that I do like that's from Taurus is the Heritage Rough Rider and I didn't really know it until I got this catalog but they do make them and they are all USA made which is great but still they are cheaper and I would honestly rather pay the $200 more for the Ruger single six. Why? Well one, I'm a Ruger fan. Two, again, if anything were to go wrong, for whatever reason, I know Ruger would help me out. Just plain and simple. And also I've searched it up a lot of heritage versus the Ruger single action revolvers in twenty two with the convertible twenty two mag cylinders. So after a bunch of research, a lot of the people would say if you want a firearm that will, you know, last generations, get the Ruger. If you just want something to plink with, then get the Heritage. So, in my mind, it's really get the Ruger if I really want it to last, which I do. And knowing Ruger Revolver specifically, they will. I guess you could call this a Taurus hate video, but really it's all the lower end companies. I'm not even going to put High Point in there just because a lot of people like them. A lot of people may like Taurus but High Point has better customer service by far and the firearm guy even showed it on video. And one last example I guess would be the Charter Arms 44 Special. Those are less than 400. I think they're about 366 to 375 for a 44 special that's a 
pretty good deal. However, in terms of the actual um, customer service or the quality of the actual firearm is subpar because with 44 Special alone, it's not as powerful as the Ultimate 44 Magnum. It's still not made to last, if that makes sense. I'm just, I'm just, I guess I just must be into Rugers way too much because the Rugers and 44 Magnum can handle the hottest loads from Buffalo Boar and still be fine to shoot. Of course, it does wear and tear. However, if you tried to shoot Buffalo Boar and a lot of the other different 44 Magnums of that weren't Rugers or even Smith and Wesson, I think don't recommend shooting them. I don't know. Is it just me? I definitely want to hear some comments, concerns, or even questions. Um, because maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not alone. Maybe, maybe other people don't, maybe other people don't like to buy subpar handguns. And that's mainly what it is. It's not long guns. It's definitely, definitely the handguns that uh, I don't like just blowing on specific things. Like I've made lists and lists of different handguns I wanted and I had to keep crossing off the lower quality ones because for that same price I could get something a little better or pay a little extra and get something two, three times as better. Alright, so that's pretty much it. That's my uh, Taurus hate video. I guess I'll call that. Taurus hate video. Thanks for watching. Check out my vlog and I'll catch you next time.